sure before we get started please tap that like button hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you are aware when i drop new videos and by hitting that like button you're helping the youtube algorithm um reach other people who might find this video useful so it's been a, it's been a while since i wrote the uh, screen recorder app in Vue.js using the media recorder API and if you need a refresh on that app there's a there's a link to the video in the description but basically I wrote a web app progressive web app that allows you to record your screen and then you download the file as a webm so <clears throat> I wanted to add some functionality to it uh, I wanted to be able to email this webm to any email address so i added a laravel api microservice and also changed up the format on the front in a little bit so i'm just going to do a demo you can go to recorder.jcompsolute.com and i went ahead and added tailwind css in there so all the styling is different so you hit start recording you go hit the screen we're going to record we're going to record we're going to record and then we're going to hit stop recording so now when the recording has stopped, you have the option of downloading the recording or emailing the recording. If you download the recording, it simply downloads as a WebM. You get the push notification if we click it. It'll we'll open up and you see we got the video there. Now, if we go and we hit email, a modal pops up in which we will type in the email. So I'm gonna put in uh, my business email so info at jcompsalu.com and hit send email it runs and then once it does a successful email it closes the modal now we'll go and check my email let's refresh and we have here send file so screen, screen record api screen recording blah 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 and here it is right here you can hit download once again open it and we have our video so before we do the level part let me talk about the changes that I did on the Vue.js so let's hope open up open up the view screen recorder we'll go ahead and close all tabs so we're gonna go to source and go to app.view so the first thing we did you know I'm added the modal here and that basically you know has the uh, model for getting the email that we're going to send to we have a button that if you hit close cancel it hides the modal and another button that if you it sends the file and calls the email file function down here in the divs and where the buttons are uh, i have the start recording stop recording which was from the first video and then i have two other buttons that uh can that pop up when the file is ready and the file is ready when it's done recording and that has the download recording functionality and the e open up email modal so if you remember from the first video it automatically downloaded the file um, after you were done recording so we changed that up so that it, it when the um, when the file is done we call set file it creates the file we save the file in the in the data and uh, we set file ready to true right here and then I just uh, and then just moved all that from the download function so everything else is the same from the first video so I'm not gonna go over all the functions if you want to know in depth go back to the first video and check and uh, then we have the email file function we create a uh, new form data because it's going to be since we're uploading binary got to do form data we append the video file we append the email and then we create a fetch and we send it to um, the URL the API endpoint and then when it's done we hide the modal show the notification so that is pretty much it on the changes on the Vue.js side and there will be a link to the github repository in the description it hasn't changed since the first video uh, but let's exit this out and open up the screen recorder API so create a new Laravel 8 application um, not gonna go over that you know if you need help you can just go to laravel.com and uh, starting a new application but basically what we did uh, I added 
one model, one notification, and that's pretty much it. And edited the API file. So I created this mo this model called file, and it uh, is notifiable. And if you go to the migrations, I create the files table. We have a name of the file, email goes to the size of the file, and the mine type of the file. And the reason why I put the mine type is because eventually I do want to uh, change the functionality so you can generate MP4 or H2 or H3, whatever the the uh, the high definition streaming file format is. But basically, I want you to have different file formats. So. Uh, <clears throat> We make it notifiable because it's going to send an email to the email that's in the in the record. Now let's go to the routes in the API. I added one post route called email file. Okay. So the first thing I do is that I grab the uploaded video file, which we set as the video param in that form data on the BJS, and then we create a new file. <clears throat> now when you upload a file in Laravel. It is an instance of an uploaded file class, and you get a bunch of uh, functions and methods that you can use. So we get the original name using the get client original name function on the uploaded file. We get the mind type by calling the get client mind type function, and we get the size in bytes by using the get size um, <clears throat> function on the uploaded file class. Once again, these are built in. Whenever you do a file upload in Laravel, it's automatically an instance of of uh, this uploaded file. So there's nothing special you have to do. And then finally, so after we create the file, we notify the email that their file has been sent, and that's using the send file notification, which I created, and that is in the send file notifications uh, or in the notifications folder called send file. So here we have send file, it extends the notification. We're gonna keep as a public parameter the name of the file. Uh, and so on construction, we set file to file. We're gonna use mail as the delivery channel. And then just have a simple two mail message. So here's your screen recording, thanks for using the application. And then we're gonna call the attach method because it, uh, mail message class, it has a attach method where you can uh, put file attachments. So that file, we're going to set it and then we're going to change the name to call jcompsolute screen recording.webm with a mime type of webm. And that simple, simple change, those three files, allows that now we have a microservice API that can send these uploaded uh, and record these newly created screen recordings and send them to any email. So once again, everyone, quick update. This is uh, part two of the screen media recorder with Vue.js and a Laravel API. Now, both of these repos will be in the description. I once again ask everyone to please hit this like button if this if you enjoyed this and it was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you want me to add new functionality. I'm trying to think of a way to add monetization to this, and once I figure out a solid method i'm going to make a part three where we add monetization so look forward to talking to you all soon and have a nice day code life out